In this video we're going to take a look at the newly released Redeemer machine from Tier 0 of the Hack the Box starting point track. This is a free machine so you don't need the VIP subscription and I've already got this booted up. I'm connected to the VPN so if you're not sure how to do that sort of stuff you can go back and check the first video I did on Tier 0 of the starting point. I've also run the Nmap scan because it takes a little while so I just run this with service enumeration on all ports and we got back one service which is open on 6379 and that's the Redis. Redis key value store 5.0.7. So let's just jump in and have a look at the questions. It asks us what is the TCP port open on the machine, which we just saw. It's 6379. So let's submit that. We're asked what is the service running on the port. So we also got that as well. That's Redis. So let's type that in. What type of database is Redis? Choose from the following options in memory database or traditional database. So Redis is an in-memory database, which just means that it operates in memory as in the RAM rather than in the hard disk. So whenever we're storing data, we have the registers in the CPU, which are the fastest, but have the smallest amount of memory available. We've then got the RAM, which is a little bit slower, but it's still faster than the hard disk. And it has more memory than the CPU registers, but less than a hard disk. And then finally, we have our hard disk, which has a lot of capacity, but is the slowest speed to read and write, read from and write to. So let's put here in memory database. I'm just going to copy and paste that. And essentially this means it can be used to cache data. So you might have a traditional database which has all of your data on it. And whenever a customer or a user queries a database, whenever they search for something, maybe it'll check the in-memory database first and see is it in the RAM already? If so, we can get it really quickly. If not, we're going to need to go and grab it from the traditional database, maybe in MySQL or SQLite database, and then we'll put it into this in-memory database and we'll keep it there for a little while until somebody else requests it. If nobody requests it for a while, then we'll clear it and uh, we'll basically use it as this like temporary fast data store. Redis itself is a acronym for Remote Dictionary Server, which is an open source, no SQL, key value data store. So let's move down to the next question. It asks us, what is the command line utility used to interact with the Redis server? Enter the program name you would use to enter without any arguments. This is Redis CLI. If you're not too sure how to find this, we could Google it. What I would typically do, as you probably know if you've watched some of these videos so far, is go to Hacktrix. I'm just going to Google for Hacktrix Redis. And you'll see here we get our port number, 6379 pen test in Redis. And this will tell us a little bit about it and some of the key commands that we can use. You can see here we've also got an nmap script which we can use to try and look up the Redis info. Let's actually, let me take a copy of that. Let's see if this works. Paste this in here. Let's grab this IP address again. And we'll run that. And let's go back to today answered that question, what is the flag used within the Redis command line utility to specify the host name? Okay, so if you don't have Redis installed, oh, it failed to execute that script. We could debug it, but I'm not going to bother. Let's just clear that out. And yeah, if you don't have Redis installed, you can just do sudo apt get install Redis CLI. If you do have it installed, we can either run it with the dash H to get up all the help option. I like TLDR as well, which will give you a list of some of the commands that you can use. So you can see here, it just gives you a short description of what the command is and then the example. So you can literally just copy and paste it. And you can see here, then we can specify a host and a port. We can specify a URI, a password, etc. In our case, we'll probably want to just specify the host. What was, I think that was the question, wasn't it? Dash H. Let's submit that. Okay, let me grab the IP address, which I think I've lost because Oh, I think I still have it copied. Let me do redis-cli-h for host. And we'll paste that in. And you can see that it's actually connected now. So let's go back and see what it's asking for. Once connected, which command is used to obtain information and statistics about the Redis server? You can probably guess this just from the fact it's a four-letter word and it ends with a O. But let's go and take a look and see if we didn't know how to identify this. We could go and have a look at hack tricks. And look at this, the first command that we see here after our auth is info, and it will respond with the info. So let's just try that. There we go, it's come back with our information about the server. And let's go and submit that as our question answer. Oh. 
what version is being used. Uh, I cleared the nmap, I think it was 5.0.7. Yes, it was, good. Which command is used to select the desired database in Redis? Okay, so again, we can go and have a look here. We've got, we can list clients, we can select, so you can see here, select one. We can get keys as well. Okay, let's try and, let me try that, let's do keys. And here we can see we've got this flag, we've got temp, we've got num, we've got store. Okay, oh it's saying what is to select, so that's going to be select. And we can select an index, so let's select zero. Selected, okay, I think we were already in there. We've got our keys, let me go back and answer this, select. How many keys are present? We just saw that it was four. And which command is used to obtain all keys in the database? It was keys asterisk. Awesome, so now we just need the root flag, which is to actually get the key. So you can see here we can list the keys with keys and the asterisk, the wildcard, and then we can just call get key with the name of the key that we want to get. And that's going to be the flag, presumably. So let's do key. Oh no, sorry, not key. Let's do get flag. And there we get our root flag. We can take a copy of it. Oops. Submit that. And there we go. We've pwned the redeemer machine. That was a nice quick one. And we can now move on to tier one of the starting point track if you've not got to that yet. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks.